Yeah, what's good YouTube? It's your boy on the KDB and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we got wildest moments of Attitude Era of 1999. Now I know this about to be a crazy video because I know the Attitude Era back in the day was it was wild, bro. I wasn't born in 1999. I was born in 2002. You know what I'm saying? So I was born three years later. So I ain't get to catch all of this. But we about to get to the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified. I drop another banger. We about to get into it. Let's get it. I appreciate the love y'all been showing me. I believe we are six subs away from a thousand, y'all. We about to hit it. Oh my goodness. It's like nah. But yeah, we about to hit a thousand, bro. I just want to say I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And we gonna keep grinding. We gonna keep dropping these bangers for y'all, boys. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. The Attitude Era, 1999 to 2002, was a time of change. The WWF became a global phenomenon, with millions of fans tuning in every night to see the latest in-ring action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my God, JR. It also saw an explosion of new talent and storylines that helped define the company's future. I own. WCW. When you think okay. of the Attitude Era, you probably think of all the wild things that happened to the WWE during this time. Yeah, my For example, the, the Undertaker and Kane had a rivalry that spanned over a decade, and it culminated in one of the most famous matches in WWE history. Inferno. You can't forget about Stone Cold Steve Austin and his famous Texas Rattlesnake nickname. or Triple H's long-running feud with Shawn Michaels. And don't forget about how Mr. McMahon became D-Generation X's leader. But mm. what are some of your favorite moments from this era? Ding, ding, ding. Number five, Stone Cold. I feel like, I ain't, I ain't gonna say the crowd not alive now in today's time, but I feel like back then, like the crowd was more like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I ain't gonna say the crowd don't get excited and they not excited now, cause they, cause they, uh, they they get excited now and it's the I ain't gonna say it's the same thing, but it's like it just felt different back then. I'm saying it felt different like I was there. Bro, it just looked different. Or cement into Mr. McMahon's Corvette. Stone Cold Steve Austin was a man Hold of on, what the Cold pour cement into Mr. McMahon's Corvette. Stone Cold Steve Austin was a man of many talents. He could throw a spinning heel kick, he could drop an elbow to the back of your head, and he could pour cement into Mr. McMahon's Corvette with his bare hands, which he no, actually crazy. did all in one night. In 1998, Stone Cold Steve Austin was feuding with Mr. McMahon, so naturally he decided to do something that was guaranteed to get everyone up in arms about him being an asshole. Pour cement into Mr. McMahon's Corvette. If you saw this live at home and didn't know any better, you'd think this was just another act from Steve Austin, like the Stone Cold Stunner or Stone Cold Leg Drop. But if you saw it live and knew what was going on, you were probably wondering why the crowd went wild when they realized what had happened. Stone Cold Steve Austin had poured cement into Mr. McMahon's Corvette. There's no way that was a, that had to be like a prop car, like a prop Corvette, right? There's no way that was a, that can't be his real car. That is fucking insane. Pouring cement in his Corvette is insane, bro. You can't help but pity poor McMahon, who was still suffering from a leg injury and was in a wheelchair when this happened. Number four, Triple H interrupts Stephanie and Test's wedding. Weddings are supposed to end in happily ever after, but this particular on-screen wedding between Test and Stephanie didn't even make it home before Triple H did something out of the blue. Just as the priest asked the audience in attendance if anyone had any objections, Triple H showed up with a cunning smile. He played a tape which revealed an unconscious Stephanie in the passenger seat and he was driving through Las Vegas. He made a stop somewhere around and a female priest officiated this weird matrimony. Triple H even mimicked Stephanie reading out her own vows and her I do's. I promise to love, honor, and yeah. Stephanie was on the verge of tears when this video was on display for everyone on a day that was supposed to be her big day. This left everyone open-mouthed at the turn of events as fans were anticipating one of the most romantic weddings of WWE. Number 3. Stone Cold Delivers Epic Cold Bath 
We know how Stone Cold has always been a pain in the butt of Vince McMahon. It seems like he always has some epic mischief up his sleeve waiting to unleash on Vince. Hey. While Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, and The Rock were celebrating their victory at the WWF Championship, the Texas Rattlesnake pulled into the arena with a larger truck filled the with heck? beer. The audience was how all... How did he get that truck in there? Look at his face. That's how I'm looking like. How the hell did he get that in there? I don't goddamn know. They got so many tricks up their sleeve. The WWE can do all kinds of shit. They can make something look like it's, it's not what it is. They could put a truck. They can make somebody look like they can lift up a goddamn 400-pound truck. They could do all kinds of shit. So I ain't putting nothing past them. Freddy going wild with anticipation of the next crazy act of Stone Cold. Stone Cold got out of the truck and got on top of it, saying that at WrestleMania, he's going to walk out as the WWF champion no matter who is the special guest referee. And since he's sure of his victory, he decides to revel right there and say he has spare beer. The Rock was enraged and ready to fight, but the McMahons kept restraining him. Before the blink of an eye, the three men were doused with beer from head to toe. The whole ring was slippery Yo. with beer, and they had a hard time standing up. <laughs> Vince was so upset you could literally see his veins pop out, but Stone Cold will always be Stone Cold. As he watches them and pulled three extra cans of beer and drank them wildly still on top of the beer truck. You Call him king of drama or mischief, whichever way. We know Stone Cold always has an epic way of etching his name in the memory of people. Number 2. Undertaker's Unholy Wedding Attempt to Stephanie McMahon uh. No true lover of wrestling is new to the dark arts of The Undertaker. He had an unbeatable record of either scary or unholy acts, or in worst cases, both. What he did during the Attitude Era wasn't only spooky, but also jaw-dropping. Taker had Stephanie kidnapped by his disciples in the Ministry of Darkness. Oh my God, that's Stephanie. She's here. They took her down the ring in a crucifix-like symbol while she frantically watched on. Apparently, Taker wanted to marry her so he could have his hand on the ownership of WWE, considering the fact that Stephanie is the daughter of Vince, who owns WWE. Stephanie will be returned to you unharmed. You'll never see your precious little girl again. There's harm my hair on her head. So help me, you son of a bitch. Just he was talking through a free phone? How did Undertaker talk to him on the other side? Because I know back in uh, 99, they ain't have like iPhones. Was he like talking from like a... Uh, I don't know what phone he was talking from, man. Y'all let me know because I wasn't born in 99, so I'm shook. I don't even know if they had phones. You know what I'm saying? Menace was probably high back up. That, that, that's good. That's it. That's, that's continue. As he was about to seal off this unholy matrimony with a kiss to Stephanie's lips, the glasses shattered, and Stone Cold Steve Austin came charging forward <laughs> to save Stephanie. Stone Cold overpowered all of Undertaker's disciples and went to get the Undertaker himself. He sent the dead man to the ground with fierce blows and hey. finished him off with a metal chair. He quickly went to release Stephanie from the dead man's crucifix, and the scared Stephanie quickly embraced Stone Cold, which surprisingly he didn't return. It seemed awkward, but Stephanie was just thankful she didn't become the dead man's bride. Honestly, if there were to be any awards for the most controversial figure during the Attitude Era, we would have to pick between Steve Austin, Stone Cold, and Vince McMahon. Number 1. Okay. China Defeats Jeff Jarrett if this particular moment does not appear on this list, then I wonder what else would. On October 17, 1999, China became the first female wrestler to win against her male competitor, Jeff Jarrett. Mm. The match was a back and forth hey. affair, with both competitors putting on an incredible performance. Eventually, China took control and locked in her patented sharpshooter submission hold to win the match. The crowd went wild as they watched their favorite superstar defeat one of their biggest rivals. China received a standing ovation from the crowd as she left the ring victorious, and of course with his Intercontinental Championship belt. It was indeed a phenomenal moment, as China just made history. And there you have it. Which of these is your all-time favorite? Don't forget to leave this channel with a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and also share. Tune in next week to see what smoky topic we have cooking for you. See ya! What the hell just happened? That's going to do it for the video. If y'all enjoyed that reaction video, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another 
Banger, this was Wildest Moments of Attitude Era of 1999. Now, this was crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, they just allowed them to do anything. It was great, I guess, for the people that was watching back then, because unfortunately, I, I didn't get to watch. But for the people that was watching back then, I know y'all excited. And do y'all still watch WWE to this day? Because I know y'all probably think it's like, I don't know. I don't know how y'all think. But we about to get out of here. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Shout out to WWE. Shout out to SmackDown vs. Raw. Shout out to Raw and SmackDown. Shout out to NXT. Shout out to the Attitude Era. Shout out to uh, This Generation Era. What else I got to say? Shout out to my subscribers, my supporters. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> but yeah, I'm out of here, fam. Y'all stay up. I'm about to go watch that goddamn me tank fight. It's uh 10.39 right now. So I'll see y'all boys on the back end.